this morning everyone today we are going to discuss about the topic mpo staining or nido peroxidase staining this uh, mpo is a staining procedure coming under the topic cytochemistry so first we will just go to the cytochemistry cytochemistry is a technique to identify diagnostically useful enzymes or other substances in the cytoplasm of metabolic cells usually by the development of cell bleach that is cytochemistry is a staining technique which makes use of diagnostically important enzymes or other substances in the cytoplasm of metabolic cells by color bleaching uh, the diagnostically useful elements can either be enzymatic and non enzymatic enzymatic for example peroxidase and non enzymatic for example lipids and glycogen next we shall discuss about the purpose of cytochemical stain first purpose by using cytochemical stain we can differentiate the blast cell in active leukemia as myeloid or non myeloid that we can differentiate between the blast cell myeloid or lymphoid second purpose we can identify early granulocytic and monocytic cells in active leukemia so this is a between granulocytic and monocytic series of cells next third purpose is to differentiate between leukemoid reaction and cml cml is chronic myeloid leukemia next we can confirm the diagnosis of hairy cell leukemia then we can identify the all rose in myelodysplastic syndrome we can differentiate the type of aml and nl we can classify leukemia based on the cytochemical staining we can detect the cytoplasmic abnormalities and enzyme production due to myeloid disorder next we shall discuss about the basic principle of cytochemical stain Uh, basic principle is that the enzyme present in the hematopoietic uh, hematopoietic cell reacts with the substrate component present in the region, and the end product will be the will be a colored product. That is, the enzyme present in the hematopoietic cell reacts with the substrate component present in the region, and the reaction product will be colored. And by uh, by uh, visualizing this colored product, we can uh, we can diagnose the type of cell or type of hematopoietic cell, whether it is myeloid or lymphoid. Next is about the different types of cytochemical stain. Cytochemical stains are basically divided into two types: enzymatic and non-enzymatic. We have already discussed. Then. Uh, the categories coming under the enzymatic enzymatic type of cytochemical stain. First one is our MPO that is myeloid peroxidase. Second one is esterase, and third one is phosphatase. Three all the three are enzymes present in the hematopoietic cell. And this esterase A is again divided into specific and non-specific, and phosphatase is again divided into leukocyte alkaline phosphatase and acid. That's all about the enzyme category of cytochemical stain. Next is about the non-enzymatic, non-enzymatic uh, types of cytochemical stains. They are Sudan black B, Peridic acid shift, Toluene blue, and Pearl stain. Next, uh, that, that's all about the cytochemical stain. Next, we shall discuss about the myeloperoxidase stain. Uh, myeloperoxidase is basically the, an enzyme present in the primary and secondary granules of neutrophils and their precursors so myeloperoxidase is an enzyme present in the granules of uh, neutrophil uh, neutrophil precursors and it is also present in the eosinophil granules and the eosinophil granules of monocytes so myeloperoxidase enzyme is present in neutrophil eosinophil eosinophil granules of monocytes by making use of this myeloperoxidase myeloperoxidase enzyme as a principal by making use of this enzyme enzyme present in the myeloid series of cells we are trying to demonstrate to the cell next is about the purpose purpose of the mpo stain is that we can differentiate between acute myeloid and monocytic leukemia from active lymphoblastic 
to be equal to that is we can differentiate the we differentiate the actual leukemia into myeloid or lymphoid then uh, second purpose is to diagnose the congenital deficiency of lymph nodes myeloperoxidase and uh, next we can move, move on to the principle of mpo state we have already uh, told that myeloperoxidase is an enzyme present in the um, present in the myeloid series of the myeloid series of the myeloid series of cells so this myeloperoxidase enzyme present in the leukocyte granules oxidizes the chromogenic component that is uh, 33- diamino benzene in presence of hydrogen peroxide and forms an insoluble brown colored stable and non diffusible reaction product at the enzyme at the site of enzyme activity so the principle of mpo chain is that the enzyme myeloperoxidase oxidizes the chromogenic component that is 33- diamino benzene in presence of hydrogen peroxide to form an insoluble brown colored compound reaction product or insoluble brown colored reaction product at the site of enzyme activity by by microscopically visualizing this brown colored brown colored reaction product we can confirm whether the cell is mpo positive or not next we can discuss about the reagents used in this type of mpo chain first one is fixate in solution then substrate substrate solution that is chromogenic region which is produced color after the reaction then buffer solution hydrogen peroxide and counter stain counter stain means we need to stain the nucleus of the cell so first first reagent is the fixate in solution fixate uh, fixate in solution is used to fix the uh, smear and the uh, reagent used re fixate is used here is buffered formal acetone we can prepare this buffered formal acetone by mixing 40 ml acetone 30 ml of buffer and 25 ml of formal next is about the substrate solution that is the chromogenic component is 33 dash dab that is di amino ben other substrate solutions can also be used next is buffer Sorensen phosphate buffer of pH 7.3 is used. Next is hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide of 30 percent is waste of oil is used. Next is counter stain. Counter stain for staining the nucleus. We can use actual chemical oxygen as the counter stain. Next about the procedure. Procedure. Firstly, we have to fix the air dried skin. Air for fixing for the fixation. Uh, we here we are using cold buffer from a and uh, we are um, fixing the, uh, the fixation is uh, for 30 seconds so uh, the step is fixation fixation is done with the fixated solution cold buffers for the acetone and fix the slide for 30 seconds then rinse in running tap water and air dry third step is incubate for 10 minutes in working substrate solution uh, first, first we have to prepare the working substrate solution before the procedure For preparing, we have to mix 30 mg of diamino benzene in 60 ml of buffer, and then add 120 ml of H2O2 hydrogen peroxide just before use. Then, uh, so after the preparation of working substrate solution, incubate the slide in working substrate solution for 10 minutes. After incubation, wash and counter stain with chemical oxygen for 3 to 5 minutes. Uh, after three to five minutes, you can rinse the slide in running tap water and air dry. After air drying, you can do the microscopic visualization. Next, uh, we uh, next we shall go. Uh, we shall proceed into the results of MPOs. There is the we have already told that the reaction process will be brown in color and will appear as granular in nature. All the nuclei will appear as blue. I had added a uh, picture from the. Uh, picture, picture having the cells showing MPO positivity. We can see brown colored granules present in the cell. MPO positive cells will appear. Uh, cells will appear brown, uh, brown in color, and the nucleus of the cells will appear in blue. Color. Next about the interpretation. In, in interpretation, we shall we shall discuss about uh, which all cells are giving MPO positive and which are MPO negative. 
sites uh, which I uh, discussed about the myeloblast. In case of myeloblast, early myeloblast are NPO negative with granular positivity appearing progressively as the cells mature. So, uh, in case of myeloblast, only the early myeloblast are negative and due to the maturation, their cells will get positive. Then about the uh, granulocytes and monocytes, dark brown uh, granules are seen in the cytoplasm of granulocytes and monocytes. Monocytes exhibit weaker and more can scattered staining properties than granules. Then about RBCs, RBCs will stain diffusely brown in color because of the presence of hemoglobin. This hemoglobin is having a pseudo peroxidase activity, hence it gives NPO, NPO positivity and hence it acts as an internal control. Then ORROS, ORROS will stain uh, well with the DAD, ORROS will appear as uh, red, in, red color rods in the cytoplasm of the cell. Plasma cells and lymphoblasts are negative. Uh, peroxidase activity is present in basophil, but uh, we have seen another substrate so that the, with DAD, so it is not possible. Then lymphoblasts and lymphoid cells are NPO negative. So uh, my, uh, myeloid series of cells are NPO positive and lymphoid series of cells are NPO negative. This is the picture showing you red, reddish brown substrate present in the NPO positive cell. Then in this picture, we can see the uh, presence of all rows, all rows in the cytoplasm 